there, welcome to Kicking It in the Kitchen with New Cooks, episode 18. So Will, what do new cooks need to know this week? That's what I asked my friend in Ann Arbor and he said, uh, potatoes, anything mashed? Today we're making mashed potatoes. For a good old fashioned mashed potato, all you need are four ingredients. You need potatoes, you need cream, you need butter, and salt. Today we're gonna use russet potatoes and we're gonna peel them. Now you could use red potatoes or Yukon gold potatoes and not peel them, but we're gonna do an old fashioned mashed potatoes. So we're going to use russet potatoes peeled. You want a half a stick of butter, so I'm gonna need to cut this in half. You'll need a pint, not two pints, but a pint of heavy whipping cream, and then salt to taste. Even though you are peeling the potatoes, you're gonna to want to wash them so you don't get any dirt on the peeled potato. So let me tell you what I have going on. Right here I have uh, a pan where the peels are gonna go in. Here I have cold water that I'm gonna sprinkle salt into. Well, not out of that one. Sprinkle salt into. When the potatoes are peeled, this water is gonna keep them from browning. So it'll keep them from oxidizing. So a couple tablespoons of salt. You certainly don't have to dissolve the salt, you just have to have it in there. I'm going to stir it around a little bit so it gets... There we go. You're going to want to use a vegetable peeler, or this is what I've always known as a potato peeler, and peel your potatoes. Now, if you see any eyes, dig them out. Those eyes have an enzyme in them that will can possibly give you a stomach ache. I'm gonna get the rest of these peeled and I'll get back to you when I have them all done. We're gonna take our potatoes and cut them into half inch to inch pieces and we're gonna throw them right back in that water. I'll get back to you when they're all done. So to get the cooking started, we're going to use a steamer pot with a deep basket. Now, if you don't have a steamer pot, it's okay just to use any pot and boil it. It's just that if you are boiling the potatoes, the nutrients go into the water. I prefer to steam them. So start with about an inch of water at the bottom. steamer 
fast as I can. You're gonna get the steaming before you put the potatoes in. In the meantime, drain the potatoes. The lid is starting to fog up, which means it's starting to steam in there. We'll wait just a couple more seconds. Oops, forgot to add salt to the water. Okay, we'll get the potatoes in. You're going to let these steam until they're fork tender. Steaming uses less water and cooks the potatoes faster. I'm going to give it about a minute. Yep. Mmm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Now we need to move the pot over to the sink and drain them and we'll be good. We're going to pour out that water because we're going to use this pot again. Okay, we're going to take this back over the stove. We're going to add cream and butter and salt and pepper. I guess there's a fifth ingredient, pepper. And uh, mash it all together. We're going to use a cup of cream. Along with a half cup of butter. We're going to use a sprinkle of salt or to taste and a sprinkle of pepper or to taste. Make sure not to overmix, otherwise it'll get um, it'll get gummy. So I think that's it. Let's taste the buttery goodness. Well, I scoop myself out a little bit, and it is delicious. Buttery, creamy. Mmm. Will, you're gonna like this. enjoyed what you saw today and if you did please like and subscribe and remember to comment and don't forget to ring that bell so I can let you know when I'm coming back in your kitchen. Bye bye! <laughs>